Alright, so I'm back at it again in here for another video, and in today's video, just really wanted to talk about two things that are really going on right now that I feel like I thought I should talk about as well. Not only that, I got Survivor Series 1996 going on for the WWE Network as well, so uh, with that being said too, with the Survivor Series predictions, definitely be on the lookout for that with In The Hot Seat Live, and definitely go like the Facebook fan page as well where I update you guys on the topics and what's going to be talked about too on the shows and everything like that and as well various other things that you guys might want to talk about definitely feel free to do that as well for the Facebook page so there you go with that cheap plug over there but uh, with that being said getting right into with the first topic on what's going on with TNA and everything and now uh, of course that's still in the news of what's been going on too uh, with the whole TV deal and uh, with me with all honesty and I think honestly they should stay with Spike TV last they heard now they might stay uh, probably with them or probably uh, going over to Destination America which is really I thought uh, it's this type of thing uh, really uh, since I have it on dish and I think it's a uh, I thought it was anyway, a uh, satellite type of deal uh, for that matter. So with that being said, I think uh, them staying on Spike TV is actually uh, a little bit more of a better deal since people have that channel more as a local channel. They can stick with them and not only that, uh, actually help themselves be promoted more, which they really do need that too as well. Not only that, I uh, changed a little couple of things on their production note as well with that. So just a little thing. Uh, with that, I wanted to touch bases on and little things that they can uh, really change on to help them, I think, so far for 2015 to uh, be out there a lot more and to be able to stay on Spec TV since I really would like to see them stay. I think that would be fair, but uh, it is what it is and we'll have to wait and see uh, what's really going to be happening for them for next year. And not only that, I did want to talk about too as well with Lucha Underground now that's on the Ellen Ray Network since I personally don't have it but I know it's here and there on YouTube uh, I've seen it once on YouTube but uh, it's a little bit hard to find I know it's on Daily Motion too as well so definitely go get the chance to watch it if you have not watched it already uh, I saw the first episode and I actually did enjoy it and it's pretty much where it's in a way like a reality show but of course more towards the wrestling and they have guys like Chavo Guerrero over there which is really damn cool uh, at the moment and they also have Ezekiel Jackson over there, John Morrison and of course guys from AAA I believe and other masks uh, luchadors as well and as well other former WWE talent that are there and from other companies too as well on top of that so it's a nice alternative it's something new that we aren't really used to and it's a nice new company to actually really look at and worth paying attention to if you guys like that type of thing but of course that's up to you so for me honestly I do like it I think it's pretty damn cool and as honestly uh, worth watching too as well on top of that so uh, that's another thing that I did want to touch bases on and uh, there you have it with that with those two topics of course definitely leave your thoughts too as well in the comment box of course and with that being said I will be back from my in the hot seat live predictions for the Survivor Series if anything changes I will definitely let you guys know as well so uh, with that being said I will catch you guys most likely in that video but you never know and uh, with that being said I'll see you when I see you. Peace.